If any of you are um, regular viewers to my channel, you'll probably notice the new format for my weekly videos, which basically just involves the lick up to speed, slowed down, and then with a tab on screen, which I thought would be um, uh, a lot better as far as learning's concerned and keeping the videos very short um, and sticking to the title of Quick Licks Weekly. So um, I'm going to be making more videos alongside those where there's going to be more talking. So um, if you hate the sound of my voice and hate the look of my face, then maybe stick to the weekly videos. Um, but in this video, <clears throat> I've uh, I've had a, a couple of messages, a couple of comments, and a, and a couple of emails about um, uh, all fourth tuning and how I'm getting on with it, um, and uh, a couple of good um, good questions have come up from there that that I think is probably worth answering um, in one video. Um, the first question I've been getting asked a lot is, is how I'm progressing um, and, and well the first question I've been asked is am I still using force tuning and um, the answer to that is yes uh, I'm in EAD GCF uh, all the time for my own playing I'll come back to that later um, and as far as progressing is concerned um, I've been really lazy on the practicing front as in proper practicing learning new scales and new applications and things but my actual playing has gotten um, infinitely better just simply from switching to this tuning. So it's, I switched to the tuning at the start of December and it's, uh, it's due end, pretty much end of July now. So that's um, near enough eight months, I'd say. And I sw yeah, switched this tuning in at the start of December and I've not switched back for my own playing. Um, progressing wise, um, I very quickly got used to the intervallic layout on the uh, on the neck the way um, it is in EAD GCF because you no longer like I talked about in the um, in those videos the um, this shape for example if you can see that all right I'll just use two fingers so for example we've got one fret and the string below two frets down which would be our minor third shape on the low four strings and standard tuning is now a minor third shape everywhere. So when I'm playing and I hit a note and I want to say go up a minor third, I no longer think about that um, and it just happens and I'm, I'm no longer thinking in scale shapes, I'm no longer thinking in positions and things like that. It's all down to fragments and, and, and intervals basically and it's a lot more liberating um, way to develop my playing it's a lot more liberating as an improviser, which is the only thing I'm really interested in doing on guitar, is using it as a, a sort of tool to write music and to improvise as well. Um, um, and I, I think it's fantastic. I, I, again, like I haven't put as many hours in as I should have done to get accustomed to it, but it's, it's already sort of sunk in um, as far as that's concerned. And chords are way easier than I thought they were going to be. I play in a, a 50s cover band and we were um, working out some rock and roll tunes and some popular tunes that we were going to do in sort of a rock and roll style and nothing was an issue, it was really easy to work out voicings that felt normal. Um, another question I've been asked is, has it been easy? Has anything been particularly difficult? And the only difficult thing has been um, uh, bar chords really um, and, and by bar chords I just mean the basic major and minor um, because I was so used to um, just knocking out you know, if I was writing a pop song or whatever, I was so used to just sitting down, um, and just those those ba that basic big E uh, six string uh, shape again. I promise myself I won't get the guitar up for this video, but that shape doesn't sound good in this tuning. Um, getting used to not using that and this shape was the hardest thing. But within sort of two months, I forgot about them. Now I play my major uh, bar like this like that. So I'm using my middle finger as the root and I can play the minor like this but I don't really play that that much. Again like I've not really missed these full six string um, chords when I've got used to not having them. Like Alex, H Alex Hutchins said in his video about it which I linked to in my video, first video about this tuning um, uh, if you're playing with a full band, you only really need those three notes, those top three notes that make the integral part of the chord, you don't need all the fluff. So yeah, it's been really easy actually, surprisingly easy, considering I've been playing for nine years in standard tuning, and it, it, it seemed more daunting than it was. I mean, really, when you think about it, we're just tuning two of the strings up one semitone, so that's it. 
Um, but it was way easier than I, I thought it would be. Uh, another a question I've been asked, is it definitely for me? Does it suit me as a player? Um, if it wasn't definitely for me, I still couldn't, couldn't tune back anyway, because um, the second I really sat down and thought about it, um, and gave it a sort of week in this new tuning, I realised how um, illogical that, um, or at least illogical to me, I, I mean, I don't want to uh, spit on all the other players who use standard tuning, because there's plenty of people who there's no need for them to switch uh, on some level. I had a uh, went to a masterclass with Guthrie Gubben um, a few months ago, and I asked him about fourth tuning, and if he'd ever considered it, and he says um, no, because it would just make his head hurt. Like, he's already, of all the guitar players I can think of, I was already master the fretboard to, to a level that I could never conceive of in any tuning. So there'd be no reason for him to switch. But um, it's definitely for me, because as soon as I realise it, it, it's just more logical like that, um, the fourths in between everything, if ever I got the inkling that I wanted to switch back and go back in my comfort zone, that sort of illogical light would flick on in my head and I would feel inadequate or, no, not inadequate, that's not the word, but I would just feel um, wrong sitting in standard tuning so I'd have to tune back. So that helped me through those first sort of two or three weeks where I was sort of, you know, pulling back and forth. Um, but yeah, it, uh, it's also fortunate because it just feels so much more natural to me uh, and again, even nine years of playing switched and, and not switched back, um, and it feels really good. And that brings me on to withdrawal. Um, have I had withdrawal symptoms? Yes, you, you, or you're you bound to get them at the start when you start anything new. I actually, uh, I never mentioned this in the first video, but I did switch to uh, all fourth tuning um, when I was younger. When I first discovered this Stanley Jordan thing, I switched to it for about an hour and then switched back. Um, because I just, I didn't understand the way, I, I didn't understand what I was doing when I was playing all these scales and things, I was just playing shape, so when I got to understand the intervals and things and how scales are constructed, it becomes less of a big deal. Um, no, I've not had withdrawal, the only time it becomes difficult is if I'm writing, uh, if I just want to, because there's an exercise for myself, I'll try and write a pop song, you know, if I've got nothing on that day, no recordings planned, no students to teach, I'll go, okay, I'll write a pop song today, lyrics and everything, and just knock it out. And there's something about sitting with a guitar and being able to just hit a few open chords or some bar chords, um, which is just really useful. And I don't even consider that as part of my normal guitar playing. I almost think of that kind of guitar playing as something completely different, because I never do that on my own. So, um, yes, I do get withdrawal when I'm doing that, but sometimes I will just pick up a, a guitar in standard tuning. I've always got one guitar in standard tuning, at all times, and I'll come back to that in a minute, but um, for my own playing and actual guitar playing rather than songwriting, in that, I mean in that sense I could have just sat down at a piano, piano player as well, could have just sat down at a piano, could have been any instrument, so the guitar in standard tuning was just a, a, a songwriting tool rather than a um, improvising or creative instrument in that sense. That's the withdrawal thing, um, I haven't really got withdrawal other than that, uh, quite the opposite actually, um, whenever I've been teaching um, because I teach in standard tuning, which is the, the this main reason I wanted to make this video is to, to talk about this as well. Um, I teach in standard tuning and often when I'm sat there and maybe I'm teaching a full uh, set of students all day and then ha I have a gap or something, um, I get like uh, withdrawal not being in fourths because I want to just noodle or practice on the guitar and I don't really want to just tune up and then because it's an acoustic I'll risk snapping strings, I never bring spares. So I get withdrawal um, when I'm in standard tuning, but th this is an important point. Um, I'm a guitar teacher, that's my job, that's my um, uh, living, so to speak. Um, so, of the vast majority of my time, I've got a guitar on my lap in standard tuning. Now, that, to a lot of people, might seem like, oh, well, I haven't really switched, but that's not entirely true. I play a lot more on my own than I do in standard tuning, uh, sorry, when I'm teaching, and when I'm teaching, I'm teaching the same sort of grade one, maybe grade two um, stuff, and I use the rock school syllabus, which you may or may not have heard of. Um, so I'm just playing the same things each lesson. Um, but uh, it's going from standard tuning to fourth tuning is so easy once you've committed to fourth tuning for a good week or so. Once you've given yourself a couple of weeks to get used to fourth tuning and you understand and you're able to visualize that tuning difference, um, 
switching back to and from standard tuning is not that hard, especially if you've been, this is counterintuitive, because I've been playing for nine years, so I got a ton of licks and a ton of things under my fingers that I thought I was going to forget, didn't forget a single one. I can still pick up a guitar in standard tuning and and play, but my brain instantly goes back to patterns and shapes and things, and I lose that sort of liberation, liberation I get from uh, all fourth tuning. So it is possible to switch. You, you know, you might want to give this a go, but don't worry. It's you know, if you try this for a couple of weeks, you're not going to forget everything. Um, and that's that's a very important thing to point out is that um, even after using this pretty much exclusively all this time, apart from teaching, but when I'm teaching, I'm just thinking pure mechanics and never thinking about the fretboard, um, I'm still able to switch to and from and it's not that big of a deal. So as a uh, commenter on one of my videos um, pointed out, uh, and he's also the guy who asked a lot of the questions I've answered in this video, his username is wajang1000, I'll put a link to his channel. Um, he said uh, in, in this his comment, uh, a lot of the op opposition to this type of tuning has more to do with the fear of change and failure to cope with change than any solid reason for rejecting it, and um, I can't agree with that anymore. I think that is an exact, uh, a, a absolutely fantastic way of putting it, and it's certainly the reason that stopped me from changing earlier on, is that fear of change uh, and fear of that bedrock. Um, as I say um, to everybody, if you are at a level of guitar playing where you want to explore the fretboard a bit, a bit more and you want to get serious about it, just give give this a go and give it a proper chance, maybe a, a week if you can set aside a week for that playing and don't worry, if you um, if you decide to switch back then you'll be a better player for it because you'll, instead of thinking about things in, in terms of patterns and shapes really mechanically, you'll appreciate the intervallic relationship between the strings, you'll, you'll appreciate that gap um, between the, B, uh, the G and B strings and understand your shapes a lot more. This, this, is, the, this is what I ended up doing because you know after that week even when I picked up a standard tuning guitar I was able to see that that change and everything made sense there. Um, I still teach beginners in standard tuning so if you're an absolute beginner I I still think fourth tuning is the way to go and I think um, much like a lot of things in life I think if every guitar player on the planet switched to fourth tuning um, we would have no problem and everybody would be better for it. The problem is the teaching materials and resources that are available um, for new students are all in standard tuning. All the instructional books and, and things like this and beginner lessons and the tons of lessons on YouTube, there aren't many or if any on fourth tuning. I've put up a few and I keep promising, I swear I'm, I'm going to film some more soon. Um, but there aren't that many. So for absolute beginners, I still suggest and I still teach absolute beginners um, a strict curriculum, the rock school curriculum, in standard tuning. And only when they get to sort of grade five level and they appreciate what they're doing a bit more and can sort of fend for themselves, if that makes sense, I might introduce or will introduce this force tuning uh, to them. That's the only thing I'll say. And it's not because there's anything wrong with the force tuning. I just think that it puts um, players at a bit of a disadvantage. You don't have any, you know, if you've got immense theory knowledge and you've picked up the guitar, that's fine. But, um, I'm sort of locking, if I give a, a, a beginner a guitar tuned in fourths and tell them that's how it's done, I'm locking them out of a lot of teaching materials that they could have access to. So that's the only caveat to it. But um, yeah, I just wanted to make this video to just let people know how I've been getting on uh, eight months down the line. Um, I'm still in fourths tuning. I am never going to switch back to standard tuning um, as my main tuning. I'll still teach with it, absolute beginners, and I'm sure there'll be some occasions where I'll have to play in it, play in it. It's still nice to knock out a few pop songs with open strings, but I'm, I'm sort of getting over that anyway because you can play different open strings on the guitar. But as far as my actual playing goes, um, unless a new, you know, a more logical tuning comes along, and I can't think it will, um, I will be sticking with, with the all fourths. Um, thanks ever so much for watching. It's been a, a very long video, and um, yeah, I'm going to leave the talking out of the quick, quick Licks Weekly video so you can just get some playing. Um, but if in the thumbnail you see my face, um, on one of my videos, probably means I'm going to talk a lot, so if you don't like that, then probably a good idea not to click. Um, I'm going to upload a video I filmed of me just noodling in all fourths, so you can sort of see what I mean about that fretboard uh, exploration thing. Uh, not the best playing in the world, uh, I have not practiced uh, properly, and I've just unlocked my tremolo system, because uh, it had a tremolo no in, I'm going to do another video about that amazing piece of equipment, the tremolo no. I only chucked it in my guitar just to hardtail it two years ago, haven't touched it since. 
Um, but yeah, I'll put, I'll put a link to that around there so you can see how I'm getting on with that. But um, just some noodling. Um, thanks very much for watching. Uh, any questions or comments, put them in the uh, thing below. And uh, I'll see you soon.